Hey, I'm Paul, and welcome to another Precious Plastic video. In this video, we're gonna show you how to set up a sheet press workspace. But before you start to build, there are a few things to consider. First, it's good to have a team. Having someone to share the tasks with can make the work a lot more fun. And second, how much space do you need? It's important to be sure you have enough space to move around freely with all of your machines and tools. The space we're using here is roughly five by eight meters. And third, what kind of power do you need? The sheet press runs on three phase, so be sure to take that into account when choosing your space. So your team's assembled and you found your space. Now it's time to build. Your sheet press workspace is only a sheet press workspace if you have a sheet press, so start with that. In addition to the sheet press, we recommend using a cold press so that you can work more efficiently by melting and cooling sheets simultaneously. You can build these yourself or buy them on the Precious Plastic Bazaar. So you've got your machines, now you need plastic. Check out the Precious Plastic map to find a shredder workspace near you. The sheet press processes a lot of plastic, so we recommend using big, durable containers to store your plastic. Now it's time to make your first sheet. Different sheet thicknesses require different amounts of plastic, so it's good to weigh your plastic out beforehand to make sure you're using the right amount. Your plastic's measured, now you can prepare it for the hot press. A prep table next to the hot press makes it easy to set up before pressing. You'll also need a mold, which is just a simple square frame sandwiched between two steel sheets. Before you pour plastic into the mold, treat the mold with mold release to make it easier to remove the sheet once it's pressed. We found silicone oil works the best. Now that your surface is prepped, pour your plastic into the mold. It's good to spread the plastic around evenly so that it fills the mold properly. Your machine is hot and your mold is ready. Now it's time to load it into the machine. Different plastic types and sheet thicknesses require different melting times, so it's nice to have a clock in the workspace to keep track. A few moments later. The sheet is melted, now load it into the press. Repeat this process throughout the day. We like to continually stack the sheets on top of each other and leave them in the cold press to cool overnight. Your sheets are cooled, now it's time to remove them from the press. It's nice to have a trolley to store and organize your materials as you unload them. It also makes them easier to transport them back to the prep table when you're ready to make new sheets. It's also nice to give your sheets a cleaner look by finishing the edges. This step isn't completely necessary, but if you have access to a table saw or a circular saw or even a knife, it can really improve the appearance of your sheets. Now your sheets are ready to be turned into products. Here are a few things they could be. A chair. A toolbox. A tea tray. A rocking horse. Storing plastic sheets is a lot like storing plywood. There are a number of ways you can do it, and whichever way you choose, what's most important is to make sure that the sheets are firmly supported so that they can't sag and warp over time. The easiest way to do this is to store the sheets lying flat horizontally on top of each other. And last but not least, it's time to put some finishing touches on the workspace. 
We've made some posters that you can hang on your wall, and plastic sheets make for nice decoration. Plants always make the space feel more welcoming too. This workspace is only meant to be a starting point to help you think through the various elements that you'll need as you plan your workspace. Your needs will change depending on your context, so feel free to adapt it to suit your particular needs. And since building out a workspace takes time, we recommend starting with the most basic elements and then building out from there as you begin to see what suits your workflow best. We've categorized the tools in the checklist in the download kit based on necessity to help you prioritize as you plan. For everything you need to start a sheet press workspace, check out the download kit and watch the next video to see how this workspace fits in the precious plastic universe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next precious plastic video. Oh, before you leave, I just want to let you know that Precious Plastic fully runs on uh, people like you supporting it because we share everything what we do open source online for free so that everyone in the world can start recycling plastic and work together on this plastic problem. So uh, if you want to help out or support in any way, visit support.precheplastic.com. Send us chocolate. <laughs>